we're shooting part of the New York Jets new uh, season open video. So right before the players run out, you know, we do videos to make the crowd get hyped. In the video, you know, we're going to have a lot of those similarities where we're seeing a lot of the jets flying around, people getting ready, and then the players getting ready and flying around. Okay, going for real this time. Everyone to your ones. Camera set. Let's roll. Camera speeds. Camera speeds. Week one, Monday Night Football, Bills at Jets. They're playing Buffalo right out of the gate, and uh, it's just the best possible way that we can start our Monday Night schedule uh, with Aaron Rodgers and the Jets. Elevates like the, hey, we're at home, it's 9-11, uh, it's in New York City. Last year when the Bills beat the Jets, Robert Solitz said we would see them again, and they will right out of the gates. For them to go against a divisional opponent in Buffalo, kind of kings of the AFC East, that's a fun matchup. We're really not looking any further than the Buffalo Bills. Three-time defending AFC East champions are coming into MetLife, and so we know we know what, what kind of task that, that is. That is a huge game to start the year for yeah. the New yeah. York Jets yeah. and for the Buffalo Bills. Buffalo, New York Jets, man. Listen, yeah. I'm excited about that more than anything. Yes, we are in a really tough division, but they all got to play us, too. When you're trying to change the organization and ascend to something, what you want to be, a championship winning They're team. They're coming into this week one game confident, excited about what they have, yeah. and they're looking to the future. And I, I don't blame them for being confident. Every time they walk on the field, they think that they are the baddest M effort on the grass. We're now the team that wants all the smoke. You know, I think when the dust settles, you, know, you, you want to be in the conversation with uh, one of those teams that can compete for a Super Bowl. Walk out of this building with any regrets. It's supposed to push one another to do just the greatest city in the world. A tribute to the greatest football team in the world, the New York Jets. The shine of a new season feels a little different this year in Florham Park. Week one is finally here. And now we get to talk to <laughs> Dan Orlovsky. We love Dan. We love everything he stands for. And now the football season is about to start. Dan, it's Michael, Don, and Peter. How you doing? I'm doing great, guys. Now you put a Hall of Fame quarterback in there. I mean, I, I think from a matchup standpoint, I think the Jets match up very well with Buffalo. Oh, absolutely. I mean, the Jets candidly match up well with basically everybody. Um, I think the, the, the kind of the way the game plays out is you're, you're trying to find a way. If I was Buffalo and I got to go on this game. Questions? What's it like to finally get to this point? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like we've been here for three years with the Hall of Fame game. But, uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's exciting. It's cool. But it's great. We'll get to see some football tonight with the Chiefs and the Lions, which I think is cool. And uh, and then we as we prepare for uh, the Bills. What, what do you see from the Bills, the L film, at least right now? They're they're obviously they've been uh, championship contenders for the last however many years uh, on offense Josh is uh, elite uh, when the ball's in his hands anything can happen uh, plays never over you did, there's always two plays it's the first play in in, uh, in progression and then the second play when he's running around making things happen um, they got a good old line They're, they've got big backs obviously their skill guys are pretty damn good they added a tight end uh, in the draft that's pretty darn good and then defensively they've been top five what well, feels like forever since Sean's been there and uh They've got experience in the back end. They've got a really good front. Their linebackers, Milano, is unbelievable. Um, 
their nickel number seven. He's 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 really freaking good. So uh, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a challenge. Do you have a message for Jets fans on what kind of football team they will see this year? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I, I just want them to show up early and be as loud as possible when we're on defense. And um, there's a lot of excitement uh, for the right reasons, and we'll hopefully put a good product on the field starting Monday. Dow, do you like that this team is so openly talking about? The goal of the Super Bowl. Yeah, why not? That's what we. That's what we trying to go. So, and to me, that ain't gonna dictate if we gonna win or lose any football game. You know, we just gotta go out there and play. Having the confidence don't dictate wins or losses. Um, going out there, getting on the green grass, that's what dictated. So, having the confidence, I love the confidence that we have in the locker room, and I think we shouldn't shy away from that. You talked openly about winning the Super Bowl, Super Bowl with your opening press conference. I'm curious what about the last few months has strengthened your resolve about that? Oh, I don't think I needed the resolve to be strengthened at all. I think uh, there's a part of that is speaking things into existence, the idea of a manifestation. And the other part is uh, a realistic look at the locker room, knowing that there's anywhere from six to 12 teams every year that can probably do it, and, and that we're one of those six to 12 teams. I've, I've joked up here a few times, it's not the Catalina wine mixer, it's week one. Uh, whether we win or lose isn't going to make or break the season. Um, it's Monday night, it's, it's, it's why we practice the way we practice, it's why we try to be intrinsically motivated, it's why we focus on the moment. So when we do get to, the, uh, to those, you treat everything like a championship moment, so when you are in a championship moment, it's as normal. And so for everybody, it's just it's stay in the moment, stay focused on your job, do your job the best you can, and and trust that the results will handle itself. It's been is it on you? Up. Is this a little bit different than for you, or is it just business as usual? Oh, it's different. I've been you know one city for 18 years, and now a new team. So, but it was good to get the pads on the last preseason game. Uh, so it'll be, it'll be exciting. You know, Monday football is great. You play in the league long enough, you won a lot of one o'clock games, but you don't uh, kind of grow up dreaming about playing the one o'clock games. You dream about playing Monday Night Football, Sunday Night Football. So it'll be fun to uh, start the season down on Monday. As week one draws to a close, the national spotlight shifts to the Jets as final preparations are underway at MetLife Stadium. That's good. As big as it gets. I mean, week one is always exciting. Uh, this was the game that every network wanted, so we're thrilled that it's going to be on Monday Night Football. I've been thinking about it ever since the schedule was released, and to know that it's right here on the doorstep uh, is exciting. These are two great rosters, well-built teams that have superstar quarterbacks, albeit in different stages of their careers. I mean, Josh is still considered a young quarterback, and Aaron's going to turn 40 in December. So these are two guys in different spots, and one guy's been a four-time MVP and has won a Super Bowl, and the other guy's trying to find that next step in the postseason, obviously, in Josh, but this has the feeling of an AFC championship game to me. The Jets are, are really good, as you know, on the defensive side of the ball. They've got a wave of pass rushers. They're really good defending the run. Uh, and then they've got outstanding corners in DJ Reed and then Sauce Gardner in the year that he had last year. So there's really no weaknesses in that group. Uh, and it wouldn't matter who they were going up against. Uh, most offenses are going to have a tough day against the Jets. The game's got to get here fast because I'm not going to have any more room on my board to uh, to put any more notes down. I, you know, you have to you have to almost force yourself to not fall into the trap of just putting so much into storylines and personal stories and different things that can take your attention away from what should be a great game on Monday night. That, that's why we're all here. There'll be a time in the game on Monday night that things are not gonna go uh, as you hope. Uh, there's ebbs and flows of every game and there's ebbs and flows of every season. Uh, and it's really the teams that are able to weather those, those points in a game and during a year as to what kind of seasons they're, they're ultimately gonna have. And, and, and I know it's been a great honeymoon 
to this point. Uh, and maybe that honeymoon continues. Maybe it continues throughout the entire year. My guess is there's going to be a time in the game on Monday night that, uh, that emotions uh, could uh, get high and how everyone responds to that, including Aaron. And I think he's you know, obviously been in the league a long time. He understands that. He's worked with younger players in the past. Uh, but he's going to be the one who really sets the tone uh, for this team and how they handle those situations. My whole life I've been wanting to tailgate for a Jet game, and here we are with my friends. This is the biggest moment of my entire life. It's going to be loud. It's going to be loud. It's going to be pretty electric. Louder than ever. Louder than you ever heard. Louder than ever. We're talking 100,000 decibels. 9-11 at the stadium to be able to see from space. You can't get excited for this season. I don't know when the Jet fan is. You're gonna be crazy in there, man. Can't wait, can't wait. I had to be here for this, history. I would say Jet Life Stadium will rock, unlike anything we've ever seen before. Well, we can't wait. I mean, all the off-season hype, America can't wait. And this stadium has a buzz about it. And when they signed Aaron Rodgers, this team went from a playoff hopeful to a Super Bowl contender. But this is going to be a great test against a really good football team. We'll get a good idea as to at least where the Jets are after this game tonight. I'm blessed to be with y'all boys today. Everybody do their job, we're gonna get what we want. That simple. Monday night don't matter. We do this every day. Family on three, one, two, three. Family. so we can have fun today. Don't forget to have fun. Represent who the we are, represent our style of play, effort, technique, and violence, and I promise you production will follow. Celebrate your teammates, celebrate yourself, have fun out there, and let's go get this dub, man. Hell yeah, let's go! Let's go now! Get on, get on three, one, two, three, yes. Yes.
In front of an electric atmosphere, the Jets' defense took the field first, looking to attack the Bills up front. Here is James Cook, younger brother of Dalvin Cook. He gets to the 40, and that's it, gets three. They didn't give up much. Number four in that category, number four overall, and they have added to it. They should be even better in 2023. Hard to imagine, but I would expect them to be. There really is no weakness on this defensive side of the ball. Third down and five for Buffalo at their own 42-yard line, and here comes the crowd. Play clock at two, Allen back to throw, looks left, throws left, incomplete! He threw it behind Diggs, and the Jets get a stop. Sam Martin, high wobbly spiral, Gibson floats right, fair catch called for, and made at the Jet 12. Now start to listen to the noise build in the background. Here comes Aaron Rodgers. Brees Hall in the backfield. Gets it. Breaks it. Out of bounds near the 40. And his first game back off the ACL tear gets 26. Protection breaks down and time runs out. Down goes Rodgers in the sack for Leonard Floyd. Now Rodgers sits down. A loss of 10 on the play and hopefully the Jets are thinking that's the only loss on that play. After losing their quarterback to an injury, the Jets turned to their defense to provide a spark early in the second quarter. Allen back to throw. Jets rush four. He's out of the pocket, runs left, has time. He's going to heave a bomb down the middle of the field. Hardy downfield, overthrown. It's picked. Intercepted by Whitehead. The Jets defense gets a takeaway. That's a gangster job getting the rope. Everybody got the rope. Good job. Everybody get the rope. Take that see what they want to do. You want to get out the pocket. Good job taking the race away, then getting ready to go track him. Track him inside out. Don't fall for that. You good? Don't fall. I saw you. Good head work. Good job. Jets on their own four-yard line, a handoff to Brees Hall. There goes Brees. He's to the 
be all right. Inside the 15 of Buffalo. Brees Hall finally brought down at the 13 yard line of the Bills. Welcome back. 83 yards for Brees Hall. It's been down. The kick is up. And the kick is down the middle and good. So the long Brees Hall run gets the Jets from their four yard line to the red zone. Making big plays is like riding a bike for Brees Hall, but it's the Bills who are looking to slam the brakes on the Jets' momentum before halftime. They want to throw. Allen flips, caught, touchdown digs. Jets will get the second half kickoff, at which time they'll be trailing by 10. With Zach Wilson leading the way, the Jets weren't looking to go quietly into the Monday night as they took the field for the second half. Just get it away before the play clock expired. The pass is a fastball for a strike to Garrett Wilson, who has been quiet a gain of 12. Swing pass out to the right, caught by Cook, scampers across the 40. Gets it to Hall. Makes a man miss out the 45, gets to the 50, middle of the field 40. Hammers his way down to the 35-yard line. And just like that, the Jets are sitting at the Bills' 36. He gets. They're going to mark him with a gain of nine. Handoff is to Cook. Picked it up and more down near the 22. Kick is on the way. It's got plenty of distance, and it is good. Zerline perfect. Splits the uprights. 8.59 to go in the third quarter. It's the Bills 13 and the Jets 6. With the gap closing, the Jets' defense needed to play lights out in the second half. It was time to flip the switch.
defense was putting together a masterpiece. The offense was looking to hit the right strings to even the score. Drops the throw, looks right, fires right sideline, and it is scooped up and caught inside the 10-yard line, down to the nine by Garen Wilson. It's left, steps up, tucks it under, he's at the five, jitterbugs left, dives down to the three-yard line. for Garrett Wilson. One-handed catch. Oh, he's got it! It's a Jet touchdown! Garrett Wilson with an unbelievable self-tip. The one-handed snag. With a deafening crowd at their back, the D was looking to crank up the volume even more. Now can the defense do it again? Tied at 13 with 4.55 to go. Shotgun set. Josh Allen takes the snap. Fumbles the football. It's loose. And the Jets may have it. He muffed the snap. Went towards the line of scrimmage. Lost it. And the Jets have a takeaway. than five minutes to go, the team put it in the hands of the ground game as the seconds ticked away. Ball to the 21. Just 
official running in. Doesn't look like he picked it up according to that yellow line. Just short. It's fourth down. You'd like decision to. Decision for some. Yeah, there's a decision. You'd like to think you can quarterback sneak this. Michael Carter, their third down back, a gain of six. Timeout by Buffalo. They'll have one left. It's fourth down. It's 16 13. Happens with a minute 48 remaining. And now it's Josh Allen against the Jets defense. When you go 12 rounds with the defending AFC East champs, trading blows is expected. Josh Allen and the Bills got the ball one final time in regulation with the game on the line. lined up set to try the game tying field goal they don't take it bass hits the upright it's good banks it in off the left upright to tie this game at 16. Entering the extra session, and with the defense on the field first, the Jets needed to deliver one final blow to pick up win number one. False start. Yes, yeah, Spencer Brown, right tackle is going to jump. This defensive front has has really been good. They've been as good as advertised coming in. And runs under it at the jet 35. Starts to his left, gets to the 40, turns the corner. Gibson on the return, near side. I don't see any flags. The 
40, turns the corner at the 45, 50, blockers and four. Gets it inside the 30, hits the Jets, and he's gonna go, just win it. And to the five, touchdown! That's a Jet touchdown! first. How about Jordan Whitehead? Yeah. And, uh, and who, who, did, who in this room did not think X was going to get one today? Uh, uh, we all knew. Uh, hey, listen. Hey, I, I'm, I'm proud of every single one of y'all, man. The absolute fight, the dog in this room. Enjoy this. Enjoy this. One and all, one and all in the division. Yeah! Bro, at the end of the week, always is to be one and all, bro. That's good, shit, man. That's good. Shit. Earn it. Keep stacking, keep building, bro. Wait to tell you, bro. We got something special. Family on three. One, two, three. As tremendous and as exhilarating and as emotional as it was when Xavier Gibson returned that punt for a touchdown in overtime in the stadium were nuts. Now reality sets in. He left the stadium. The x-ray did not show what the Jets now think, but Robert Sala just said to the media that it's not good. How do you process your emotions right now? It's a great win for you guys, but the yeah, Aaron injury. Uh, <clears throat> That part sucks. I'm going to enjoy this win. Winning in the NFL is hard, regardless of who the quarterback is. Um, personally, I don't hurt for me. I, I don't hurt for our locker room. I hurt for Aaron and how much he's invested in all of this. We are following deeply upsetting breaking news in the sports world today. Sal, what's the latest on Aaron Rodgers' injury? The latest is that he probably ruptured his Achilles in his left foot. How are you doing, DJ? Well, 
I don't even know where to begin, Rich. <laughs> devastated, devastated, shock. Everybody in the building's here and excited to see what happens. You got Aaron Rodgers, you got a legend, everyone understands what the possibilities are, and then in, in a moment it, it just evaporates. How did your team absorb that and, and react the way it ultimately did from, from early tonight until where we sit now and you guys have somehow won this game? Yeah, man, I mean, there's, there's no uh, recovering from something like that, man, with, with a guy like that that has an impact like he does in our locker room. Um, you know, seeing him go down and then going in and seeing him at halftime, it, it was, it's tough, man. And it's something that, you know, as, as, a, as a football player, you hate, to, you hate to see. You never want to see anything like that. But, um, you know, Zach rallied the troops. He did. He took that step and, and took that step in the locker room, and, and we came together and did what we had to do in the second half. It, it's always the peaks and in, in the valleys. I always say, you know, it, it, the team that gets to a Super Bowl, the teams that can handle the valleys, because the valleys are the times that teams come apart. I watched that defense last night. I'm telling you, the Jets are going to be right there at the end of the season. Without a doubt, they will be in contention for the division title with Zach Wilson. And that what did you gauge from your players' frame of mind this morning? Um, everyone's in uh, really great spirits. Uh, you know, I, I'll speak for the locker room. Everyone believes in themselves, and uh, we, we believe we have a really good football team. When you talk to Aaron and, and when you've had conversations with him, has there been discussions about the future at all? Uh, I, I haven't gone that, down that road with him. Um, I mean, I'd be shocked if he's if this is the way he's going to go out. But uh, but at the same time, for him, uh, he's got he's working through a whole lot of headspace uh, things that he needs to deal with, and uh, that will be the last thing I talk to him about.